Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I am so excited about today's video. So welcome to our snowy Monday video uh, for, uh, forecast. This is negative four degrees in Colorado. We are still rocking and rolling, and I cannot wait to show you this RV from the inside out. Now, normally we'll do a full interior and exterior video. Today, we're going to go ahead and stick to the inside. I've got some pre-recorded measurements for you written down so that if you are really interested in this coach, not only would I be happy to FaceTime with you, but I'd love to have you out so that you can take a look at the benefit of having a Renegade in your driveway. So Jody, as usual, please go ahead and start her from the inside out, take her on back. Uh, if you see a bunch of little yellow stars throughout the coach, those are measurements that we've pre-recorded for you today. Um, there are a number of videos that have been made on this unit. It is available for sale, which is very unusual in the 40 foot Explorer. So I thought it would be really nice to do some things that are a little bit different than the rest of my colleagues have done already. If you're looking for more outside information, please note they have a ton of videos on the outside of this coach already for you. So first of all, let's take a look at this fantastic shower. Now I'll tell you, I just came back from a three week trip to San Diego in my Super C. Uh, I have a Numar currently, I had a Renegade before, so I'm very familiar with both products. But one of the things I can tell you is that in this shower, which measures 26 by 34, uh, what I found is it was a very comfortable place to bathe, but certainly this adjustable shower head was really a key thing for me. There was different points where I would be sitting down on the bench. I actually sat on the bench much more frequently uh, than I expected I would. Uh, it was just nice to stay warm, to kind of lather my hair, whatever else it was. But being able to bring this up and down is a really nice benefit. So this teak bench that you have here in the 40 ERB is a really nice feature in this RV. Uh, another thing I think it's important to talk about is this thermostatic control of your faucet. So it's really nice. This is actually thermostatically controlled. You can set it high or low, so you can actually pick according to what your 450D is doing for you with your uh, tankless hot water heater. You know, that uh, 450D aqua hot unit that comes standard on this Explorer is a 65,000 BTU uh, tankless hot water heater. So the water gets pretty toasty. I actually had to turn my water down when I was using the burner system to heat my water. Uh, we did about half the time boondocking and about half the time plugged in. Uh, we did a 30 amp plug-in spot, we did a 50 amp plug-in spot, and then we did no power, no sewer, no water. So if you're interested in understanding how those things change and what we did to accommodate uh, the differentiation, I would be happy to answer questions for you. Just shoot me a text or an email. Um, it was really fun to kind of do like a side-by-side -side comparison. I convinced uh, Andrew and uh, Brian that this was a work research trip. So they let me go to San Diego for three weeks, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's get over here to this uh, this countertop. Now, first of all, uh, this is a beautiful um, execution of uh, an interior on Renegade's behalf. So they have three colors. They have a light beige, they have a gray, and then they have kind of a dark earth tone brown uh, interior color that they offer. Uh, so this is going to be the gray wood along with the gray uh, tone on the interior. So this is a really gray interior coach. And on the outside, it's also all gray. So this coach is just a gray coach, but it's beautiful. Um, and I wanted to show um, some of the things I found to be important. I keep little plastic trays that hold all of my supplies in my cubbies. Now these are adjustable, so I didn't put a height measurement here. The height here is 10 inches, which you can see here on the star. The depth of these though is about five inches. And then on the right hand side here, it's 18 inches and over here it's nine inches. The reason I mention that is because if you do go into uh, a supply store and you wanna buy little plastic trays, you can keep your uh, conditioner, shampoo, all those things, you know, face wash in these cabinets. And even if your coach freezes, if they happen to bubble up and come over the top, they're not gonna spill into the bottom of those, uh, of those cabinets. So this is a video that's designed to really help you upfit and outfit your RV, not just to, you know, this isn't a kick and tires video. This is a execution and how you can really use it and why it is a huge benefit to have a Renegade Explorer. Um, okay, so first of all, one of the things that's really nice here is they've uh, they've tilted the toilet so you've got a little more elbow room, a little more uh, knee room here. And this is, keep in mind, a bath and a half coach. So this is the second bath of your bath and a half coach. So this is a really nice office space for the 
gentlemen that are camping and I'll tell you one thing I wish I had had on my trip was a half bath. I have a bunk model that has a single bath and uh, we took my 19 year old son with us and he was in the bunks and it was great but it would have been nice not to have two men to share a coach with with one bathroom if you could imagine. Uh, you know, all that being said, we did actually use the um, park facilities quite frequently. Now I wanted to show, so you've got some additional wardrobe space here. This is gonna be uh, 15 inches wide, really deep. This is gonna be good for big items like heavy coats, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, bulkier things. Maybe if you've got a wetsuit um, or a snowmobiling, um, you know, bibs or something along those lines. Uh, this shelved area, again, same width. These are wider on the inside. I'm measuring from the inside of this door so that you have an idea as to what you could slide in here. Uh, but these are adjustable. So in terms of the height, you can really set them at whatever you like. You could even take one out if you've got a taller object. Uh, for those of you that want to bring like a big, you know, nice uh, air fryer or a toaster oven or a coffee pot, uh, we have a place where we keep all of our things. And when you're in your RV, they're not necessarily just because they're kitchen items always logically going to be in that right area. It may benefit you to be able to keep your larger bulkier items in that bottom cabinet there. So that's very nice. Now also on this coach, these doors by Renegade are just so solid. These pocket doors are super, super durable. They're thick. This is all solid maple cabinetry. And what's nice about that is they're sturdy so that if you do have someone who's still sleeping in the unit, they're gonna be able to be very comfortable with that door shut, taking a shower and not waking you up. Um, okay, so this is the one that I have measured. We've got a lot of twins here. So this is gonna be 15 inches wide, 18 inches deep. So this is a little more shallow. And then this is gonna be uh, 38.5 inches tall. So that's gonna be the length that you can have. These are gonna be all the same measurements in both of these wardrobes. And then in these drawers, you've got six of these drawers. They're gonna be 10 inches wide and 14 inches deep. Oh, and I didn't put the height. Let me grab my tape. So we're trying to do this. And, and just so you know, this is uh, based on feedback from one of my clients. I talk to a lot of people. I sell a lot of RVs off of these videos. Uh, this is just about six inches deep, six inches tall. Um, so all six of these drawers will be the same. Uh, but one of my clients said, why don't you just pre-measure everything so that we don't have to wait for you to measure? And I said, well, that's a great idea. Plus, I could write it down. So 14 inches deep, 29.5 wide, and then 6 inches tall again. So really great cabinet space here or storage space. Now, keep in mind, um, when we were camping, one of the things that was really nice is uh, in our Superstar, we have a lot of small drawers like this where we can actually keep socks. We can keep, you know, underwear, shorts, jeans, T-shirts, the like. Uh, so it's nice to have the separation of space where you actually can be very organized. Uh, this is a 36 inch wide countertop, but keep in mind, it has a really nice two 110 outlet here. And then one of the things that we used a lot on our trip is we opened up this window a ton. So we would keep this popped open. That way we had the windows on either side of the RV on uh, the bedside open. And then this window, we got really good circulation in the coach. So I, I don't really show that ex emergency exit window a lot, but that's a pop-out window with a screen that you can actually use. It's not just for an emergency exit. So I wanted to make sure we covered that today. Another thing that we used a ton was our kick plate. Now on the Explorer, you don't have a kick plate. You only have hose attachments. We used our hose attachments a lot as well. But what's really nice about this is if you are, uh, for instance, we were in a, a beach environment. So when you're sweeping up that floor and trying to keep everything clean, it's really nice to be able to hit the, the carpeted areas with the hose for a little bit, but then you just sweep everything into a little pile and you vacuum it up instead of trying to sweep it out that door or using a dustpan. It's just a much more efficient way to clean your coach. Now on either side of this bed, you'll see that we have these great nightstands. One of the things that's really nice that Renegade does is they give you two 110 outlets, a USB and a type C on either side of your bed. Uh, so I think that that's super handy. Something that we used way more frequently than I expected was the light control uh, button above the bed just to turn all the lights on the coach off. You have that here in the Renegade. Um, something I'll certainly tell you, uh, between the Superstar and the, or the, the Numar and the Renegade product, something that I really do enjoy, both of these units, uh, 23 forward, have an integration into your phone. So you've got a phone app where you can register and read all of your uh, controls. One of the things that was really, really nice about my, uh, my system that I had with my Verona, um, which is the same as this, is on my Firefly system, 
had a lot more controls on it. I had a lot more specific items, including slide controls. So for instance, we stayed in some pretty tight areas. Um, our last site was in a state park. Uh, it said 35 foot maximum length on the website. Of course, we have a 40 foot superstar. We had no problem getting in. Uh, we had to call the front desk and make the arrangements, but you know, keep in mind, this is again, one of those things I'm trying to push the boundaries and figure out what you need to know when you're camping. So call me if you get questions about this stuff. Uh, but we stayed in this pretty tight spot and it would have been really nice not to have to try to yell out the windows about where you're putting your slides out because this is a quad slide unit. This has got a slide here. Uh, Jody is standing in the pocket of another slide as well. We will show this closed up today. Uh, but one of the things that was really nice about the Renegade was I could open and close the slides from outside and I wouldn't have to have the door open or the, be on a cell phone trying to communicate as to whether or not we were too close to something. Um, so up here you're going to see we've got a ton of overhead storage. Uh, this is a great space to keep things that you're not going to access so often. If you want to buy those shoe boxes, you can fit quite a few up here all the way across. Keep your batteries, uh, your, you know, your flashlights, things, you know, you might use your Pexel headlamp every once in a while um, or on a nightly basis, but your big flashlights, you know, just being able to keep things you're not going to access a lot above the bed has been pretty useful. Something I wish that I had had I love the fact that the 40 ERB comes with a ceiling fan. If I could have had a ceiling fan tied into that ventilation, it would have been even better than it was. Um, but like I said, opening that third exit window made a really big difference. And of course, uh, one of the places we camped in was San Alejo. So if you open these windows, you could hear that ocean uh, crashing against, you know, you know, the, the, the rocks down below. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful place to camp. Uh, but that fresh air and getting that circulation in there was so nice, that sea breeze. Okay, so another door here. One of the things I really love about Renegade is the way that they do these pocket doors. They're so fleshly integrated. They're not on a track that's exposed, so really nice. You don't have to worry about having anything in the way. Uh, we did have one victim. We had a broom that went down on the trip where we opened uh, up a slide and it was stuck behind something. So, you know, certainly it's nice to have things that aren't going to catch while you're in motion. Um, now, as we come up here to the mid of this coach, there's a few things to talk about that are really handy in this Explorer. Again, all of these are going to have a five inch depth for the most part. This one's just a little bit deeper. Don't have my measuring tape, didn't measure it, sorry. Um, but this is a really great place to be able to keep any kind of umbrellas, any kind of you know bug spray, anything that you need to go out and about as you're going down the road for quick access. But something I really love about this coach is this coat closet. So this coat closet is so clutch. Uh, it's about 18 inches up here on the top. And as you can see, this is a pretty long jacket that I have here. Um, and this is just a nice place to be able to keep your jacket so that when you're going down the road, if you do have your slides closed, you don't have to worry about going into that rear compartment. And then down here, you'll see we have all of our power systems. Um, I really like this aspect of the coach. As you can see, you don't have to come all the way in to see what kind of charge you're receiving from your solar, to see what kind of output you have. And these things become much, much more important to you as you are boondocking. So uh, this coach has three 270 amp hour lithium ion batteries. That's an upgrade from the standard. My coach has 800 amp hours of lead acid battery storage. This coach has 810 in lithium. Lithium is very finicky when it gets to a certain point, it just turns off. So you wanna be able to monitor that. Keep in mind, you can monitor that on your panel with your Firefly system. Uh, they let you see everything right here, but this is very handy again, because you can see it on your phone. So you can see what your house and chassis has. You can see that the generator is running. You can see what you have coming in and going out. So this is a very important aspect of your power supply. Um, also, you can control uh, your lights on and off, both on your phone and on this panel. There's multiple panels throughout the vehicle. You can measure your, monitor your tank levels. You can turn your water pump on and off with this Firefly app. You've got individualized light settings as well, so you could actually pre-program what's included in your master panel. Uh, you've got your temperature controls, not only for your uh, front and rear zones uh, with your heat pumps and your hydronic heat, uh, but also you have the uh, control for your floor heat. So you've got heated floors on this coach as well. And then here you can actually uh, turn your fan on and off again, once again through your app. And then you've got all of your slide clothes here. So we're gonna go ahead and retract our slides today uh, from the inside of the coach. 
the Renegade Explorer has three electric slides and one hydraulic slide. The only hydraulic slide is going to be the couch side slide. Everything else in this coach is a, a hydraulic slide. Just comes in a little faster. Um, it's not the same as what you might find in like a London Air or a Dutch Star where your slides are uh, actually raising up and coming in. They are still coming directly in. So you'll see there's just a little bit of carpet here under this uh, hydraulic slide that you have on the passenger side of the coach. Uh, but as you can see, really nice seating accommodations and we will get into some of the measurements uh, that make this coach great. But before we do that, I wanted to show you what this coach looks like with it pulled in. So go ahead, Jody, just take a look there. This is with everything slid in. And keep in mind, one of the things that's nice about this coach is you've got hydronic heat, which is running uh, through your 65,000 BTU 450 Aqua Hot D, uh, four, I'm sorry, your Aqua Hot 450D um, tankless hot water heater. Uh, so that, that, that is keeping this coach warm on the inside, but it's also keeping your water supply warm on the inside. So you have two 75 gallon freshwater tanks on this coach. Uh, so you've got 150 total gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, and 75 gallons of black water. Um, I did a lot of measurements on the trip as to what we were using with the dishwasher, uh, with the washer and dryer per shower. So if you'd like to have discussions about that and what I found in boondocking, I would like to, I'd be more than happy to tell you uh, with whatever research I came up with, you know, what those measurements were. Um, but, you know, when it comes to for water capacity, 150 gallons is really nice and it's nice that it's in the coach so you don't have to worry about keeping it warm. Um, now, again, these are all going to be five inches deep. So this is not adjustable. This would be a great place to keep toilet paper, any kind of uh, components that you need for your black water system. If you use those little pouches or if you use the liquid um, and then here again, five inch deep pockets and tons of storage room in this mid bath. And these are again adjustable shelves. So if you've got hairspray or whatever, they'll fit up here very easily. And you can keep your, I keep my hair dryer and my, um, you know, all of my big supplies are actually in this medicine cabinet. Uh, now, one of the things I wanted to make mention of, I like the way that uh, we do this with Renegade where you've got this beautiful Aurora cloud countertop and then you've got a seamless edge here. So you don't have to worry about any kind of grime or gook getting uh, caught up in here. And also the single faucet is really nice. Same thing, easy to clean, easy to keep tidy, uh, nice full extension drawers, same as the ones in the back and then a ton of space underneath, easy access to your plumbing. Again, another hydronic heat vent. And we have fantastic fans in all of the areas. There's going to be one in the bedroom or in the bathroom and one in the mid bath as well. So if someone's using the facilities, you don't have to worry about that. And then Jody, if you would step on back and just show the store, we'll show my favorite thing. I love a robe hook. Um, I wear a robe when I get up in the morning. I mean, it's just something I like to keep nice and warm and that's a great place to be able to store that. Um, now, one of the things I think that we uh, forget to talk about a lot of times is being able to make everything dark. How easy is that? That is such a nice cover for the window. Um, and then also you can see with your, uh, with your shades, you've got your day shades and your night shades. And I love the way Renegade has done this nice oatmeal colored shade on the interior because it actually lightens the coach up quite a bit. So if you're looking for privacy, you can just pull those day shades down. But if you want it to be blackout in this coach, I've got to tell you, one of the things I, I found is I was sleeping so much better because there was zero light coming into our bedroom. These MCD shades are really, really light protecting. Uh, so that's a great advantage for those of you that are out camping. If you're trying to, you know, get a little recovery from your day job and you're really trying to catch up on your sleep and enjoy yourself. It's nice to be able to sleep in in your coach and know that that sunlight's not going to be waking you up early. Or you can leave your day shades down, not use your night shades and get up at the crack of dawn and go watch the sunrise like my boyfriend does. Okay, so this countertop is 109 inches long. That is a lot of countertop space. It's also 27 inches deep. And then I wanted to show the measurement here to here because if you do put your coffee pot up here or coffee maker, you have an espresso machine, for instance, it's 18 inches tall here. So Jody, I'll take a quick, quick giffy of that. Uh, we've got a 50 inch television here. So that's a big Samsung TV. But the reason that we have it pulled out isn't just to show you how you can have your viewing, but also so that we can show you this cabinet space behind. Now let's stick that right there for right now. 
So 37 inches of cabinet space, 13 and a half inches deep at the, at the narrowest position. This is a ton of room back here. And then this is accessible on both sides. So there's two uh, openings to this cabinet. So this is a great place for storage. And I know I keep talking about storage, but I'll tell you what I found on our trip was there was a lot of things that we had and it, we had to really be creative. And one thing that's nice about this Renegade, this Renegade has so much usable storage space. Um, and that's, that's really clutch for somebody who wants to pack their RV, get everything set, um, our RV is not home still. It's been gone since November. I flew out to San Diego. I flew back. Um, you know, I think we've missed the first two Mondays. I miss, even missed this week this is my first Monday back. So we missed the first two Mondays of January camping. Um, but my RV is still out on the road. It's in Arizona right now. Uh, so this was like a really long trip for us and it's been really informative to see what you need to have. But um, having storage allows you to get really packed up well. Uh, so these are 13 by 13 drawers. They are 3.75 inches um, tall, so the height here. So if you want to buy any kind of organizers for those, that's, that's your measurement there. Uh, as you can see, everything is soft close. This is a 14 by 32 inch cabinet and again, adjustable shelves. So I don't put a height there because you can make them however high you like. Um, this is going to be a 1.7 cubic foot Samsung microwave and convection oven. That is a really big convection and microwave oven if you haven't done your research on those. Uh, lots of space here. Uh, we used ours a ton. We use it as an oven a bunch. We use it as a microwave a, a ton. It really works very well. If anyone's ever given you a hard time or told you that convection doesn't work, I've got to tell you, we had a great experience with ours. This is a huge drawer. This is 22 and a half by 21. Um, and that's, so that's a big space. And then it's going to be, uh, that top one, this is three inches tall. This is three inches tall. This is going to be 22 and a half again uh, by 75, I'm sorry, 22 and a half by 7.5. So these are all 22 and a half by, and by 7.5. This is four inches tall on this interior. So if you're trying to buy dividers, hopefully this will help you out a little bit. Another 23 by 25 cabinet with adjustable shelves. And then here we have, uh, we've got a total of five drawers. The top three are going to be eight inches um, or three inches tall. The bottom three are, or the bottom two are going to be 11 inches tall. And what I'm talking about there is I'm talking about the size of the container that you can actually put in these and still close the drawer. So these are going to be 22 and a half inches deep, five and a half inches wide. And again, I'm talking about eight inches tall containers or 11 inch tall containers that you can put in these two. And that becomes really important. We put all of our cereal in containers. We put our chips in containers. If you can get everything out of those big bulky bags, it also stays a lot more fresh, especially if you're in a place that is, um, you know, for more humid than it is here in Colorado. So this is an 18 cubic foot refrigerator, tons and tons of storage space in here. And as you can see, there's an ice maker. We've got some winterizer on here. Um, now folks, I know that there's a lot of you that are like, oh my God, how do you deliver vehicles? It's going to be like 50 degrees by Friday here. Uh, and I've got a superstar that's going out Friday afternoon. Uh, we are doing a delivery of an Essex today. So we're still open for business. We still come to work. We still make videos. We just wear jackets and scarves. Uh, so this is 75 inches to here and another 75 inches to here. Each one of these cabinets is going to be 21 inches wide and 17 inches deep. You're going to have a clearance into that cubby of seven and a half inches. This is a great place to keep shoe boxes. And then, like I said, you get a label maker, you label them from A to Z. If you've got flashlights in one or batteries in one, that way you just know where everything is according to where it would be in the alphabet. This table here is 22 inches uh, wide and 41 inches deep. This is a huge advantage uh, uh, in this coach because a lot of people that are going down the road um, when they're driving, you might have one of your spouses that's working or you've got kids that are coloring. You've got two lap belts here. You've got three on that couch. You've got two in the front. So we've got a total of seven seat belts in this coach. But what's really nice is 
two large adults can sit next to each other at this table comfortably. And then when you're going down the road, you've got a place to put your beverage. You've also, again, got your two 110 outlets on each side, your USB on each side, and your Type-C on each side. So everybody has their own power. Another great advantage of this coach is the way that these windows pop up. Uh, we had some good rain in San Diego. We had record waves. We had high tides. We had so much exciting stuff happening when we were there. But when it was raining, it was nice. We could still keep that fresh air coming in because the rain was hitting the outside of the coach and dripping off. And uh, honestly, there's nothing better than, uh, than the smell of a rainstorm. Uh, fresh rain is just beautiful. Uh, so we love that. Uh, now underneath here, storage. This is where we keep all of our plates and all of our placemats. Um, as you can see, this is a really, really big area. This will give you an idea. Um, I didn't measure this. I should have, it's okay. You know, this is a new process for me. Uh, so just about 11 and a half inches wide. And then this is gonna be 44 inches deep. So 11 and a half by 44 inches in terms of what you can fit underneath here. That is so much room. Um, it's absolutely a great place to keep all of your bowls and pots. Not, not Well, you could keep your pots and pans too. In terms of the height and the clearance, I think you could pretty safely say you've got about five and a half to six inches of clearance underneath there as well. Now this does drop down and conver convert into a hide-a-bed. So this is an actual sleeping area. So if you've got littles, this is 60 inches across, which is pretty standard. And then this is a full queen size bed. One of the things I really like about the Explorer is this little table ledge back here. You'll notice we don't have cup holders on either side, but this is way better. If you've got your drink or a, a beverage that you'd like to put down, you've got a nice solid surface. Uh, this coach does have the one ottoman option. It does not have both, um, but I think that that's pretty cool. We covered that door. We, 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 I don't think we went under here. We can show you the subwoofers down here. And there's a little shelf, nice place to be able to keep your cleaning supplies. And again, everything in cubbies is gonna be the best thing. Like you can get one of those little carry trays. You can go about 17 inches deep up to that wooden lip in the front. And then if you're gonna try to get like a little tote to put your cleaning supplies in, you want it to be about 10 inches wide. And then of course, height's the limit. Now, when we talk about um, this Firefly system, this is the system that you're using here. It's called uh, Mira. And uh, the Vega Touch Mira app is really easy to use. Again, you can open and close your slides with it, control your lights, watch all of your tank measurements. Just great stuff. Now, one thing that we did do, and so Renegade is now using a stainless steel undermount sink. Big fan of that. As you can see, it's got all the drainage uh, lined in, so it's gonna drain nice and easily, easy to keep clean. Uh, if you're boondocking, having a collapsible silicone bowl and dumping your water out, side of the coach and not into your gray water tank will give you, you know, when you've got a 75 gallon gray water tank and 150 gallons of fresh water, the first thing you're gonna be running out of is gray water. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this true induction cooktop. This is the same cooktop that I have in my coach. I love it. Um, I got one put in my house when I built my house. It is the most useful thing that you can possibly have in your RV. It cooks everything to a very specific temperature. We actually uh, seared ahi uh, one night, you know, fresh fish down in San Diego, great idea. Um, some more storage up here. Uh, but again, this is all really important stuff. Now you'll note that one of the differences in the Explorer is that you do not have that bunk over cab. So if you want a bunk over cab, you can still get that Aqua Hot 450D uh, the heated floors, all of those things in the Verona LE, but you will not be on this P4 Cascadia chassis. Now this is the P4 Cascadia chassis. Um, the P4 116 is going to be, you know, a class eight semi truck versus a medium duty truck uh, by Freightliner. So big, big differences in the cab of this coach. As you can see, the opening is much wider. These seats and swiveling are actually pretty useful. The other big differentiation is that you're going to have a Daimler-based, so for those of you who are familiar with Mercedes-Benz, uh, this is a Daimler-based navigation system. It's got great voice control. It's got lots of hard buttons down below so you actually can touch just buttons when you want to do things or you've got your touchscreen navigation. You also have really good integrated uh, uh, steering wheel controls. That's a big feature. Uh, the M2 106 Plus chassis that's coming out, or that is out, I should say, currently in, um, 
in 2024 does have steering wheel controls again so just some more storage areas um, but this is a really nice cockpit so this is very ergonomic very driver centric and the ride and carriage of this coach is completely different than that of the m2 106 or m2 112 plus chassis so if you haven't experienced that I'm not a hard sell. I just like to provide information. If you want to come out here and learn and figure out what you want to buy, uh, this month I'm delivering a London Air to a gentleman who came out looking at Super C's, ended up going with a Class A, uh, took three visits to kind of figure out what it is. He's from Vegas. I mean, one of the largest RV dealerships in the country is in Vegas. He's not buying from them. He's buying from us. Uh, because of the experience, because of the education. Um, so hopefully you've tuned in and, and you've watched some videos uh, that have been given on this coach already. If you haven't, I know I think Todd Thornton, uh, uh, AC Chavaria and uh, Mark Love have all done videos on this coach. Those guys really like to focus on the exterior. I am much more about the function of the interior and how the coach integrates into my camping experience. Um, you know, this has got a Flowjet macerator system. I can tell you all about how to dump and, you know, dump and, you know, not dump your tanks to fill your hot water. It's 120 gallons of diesel. It's a single tank. I mean, I've got that spec tech. I've, I've actually got the outside world experience and how it works. Um, but really what it comes down to it, when you're buying an apartment on wheels, when you're buying a house that rolls down the road, uh, knowing how it feels driving cross country, knowing how it feels to have to park it. So this coach has a four camera system. It's got a side camera when you turn left, one when you turn right, it's got a backup camera and it's got one that points down to that trailer hitch. I'll tell you that overhead camera, I always make fun of it and say, it can help you hit picnic tables. It saved us from taking out a water line in the front of our coach when we were parking our Super C because it's got this really long wheelbase, right? So it doesn't turn as agilely as a class A does. Um, but you know, as you're in the market looking for a coach and you're trying to figure out why buys, you know, do you want a 40 foot with a single axle, single axle and a 20,000 pound towing capacity or a dual with a twin screw and a 30 pound or would an M2106 chassis, you know, for $100,000 less be, you know, more than enough for you? I can help you kind of work through all of those iterations so that you can make the right decision for yourself. Um, the real world experience, like, you know, every trip I take, I try really hard to learn as much as I can and to bring up the level of education I can provide to you as a client to the next level. Um, I do have a question. Oh, I've got a question. Is this an all electric coach? Uh, this is an all electric coach. So the question was, is this an all electric coach? So that's a, that's a great uh, question. Um, let's talk about what that means. What that means is, for instance, when we were boondocking, uh, we were able to run our generator during park hours only. Our park hours were from 10 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. So we could run our hydronic system off of our diesel tank uh, with our, we had an Oasis in this particular coach. In my Renegade, I had the 250 Aqua Hot D or the 250D aqua hot unit. This has got the 450D aqua hot unit, but you can use a burner to heat all of your hot water. You can also use the burner system to run your uh, heat in your coach, which is great. So you're not using a lot of draw. Um, our coach has 800 amp hours of storage. This coach has 810. At night, what we would do is we would run our generator until eight o'clock. We would turn it off right at eight o'clock when we were boondocking to make sure we had enough charge overnight. Uh, this coach has three 200 watt solar panels on top. So a total of 600 watts. My coach has 525. Um, we're really able to function quite well uh, within all of those parameters. My son microwaved uh, some leftovers one morning uh, before gen hours were on. He zapped most of our power, but was able to run the microwave well enough to heat his food. Um, I was getting ready to go to church on a Sunday. I tried running uh, the hair dryer without being plugged in because this is an all electric coach like you just mentioned. Um, that threw my coach into a tizzy. The uh, hair dryer turned off right before I got finished drying my hair completely. It was pretty much three quarters of the way done. Um, and we couldn't turn our generator back on for another hour. Uh, so the coach was at really low battery charge. We had a lot of fault codes. Um, so there's, there's definitely benefits and advantages to being all electric, but there's also things to be considered of. Um, one of the benefits, like I said, is that we were able to have hot water throughout our camping experience at any time, as long as we could keep those gray water tanks empty enough to hold for a shower. Um, I did a bunch of shower tests on how, like, how much water it takes for a short shower, how much water a regular shower takes, how many loads of laundry you could do on the road between two locations. 
Um, so, you know, all of those things are really, really important. But that hydronic heating system is boiling a, uh, a, a tank of uh, antifreeze and it's running that tube of antifreeze underneath the coach, allowing you to have heat in this coach. Today we're using the heat pumps. Uh, we should actually probably be using the hydronic heat. I can feel the cool air coming in because it's so cold. They're actually not keeping up with the temperature. It's still pretty warm in here. It's not terrible, uh, but it's really, really cold. And this coach is comfortable, which is a, a, you know, a huge testament to Renegade and into the build quality. Um, so yeah, this is an all electric coach. Anything from uh, the Verona to the Verona LE, the Explorer, the XL, all of those coaches will be all electric. When you're in the Valencia, we should talk about some of the differences that you get when you go to a propane based unit. Uh, there's certain pluses and there's certain disadvantages. I'd be more than happy to cover those with you as well. Um, we oh, we have another question. Ryan would like to know how far we can deliver a coach if someone wants to purchase one. Okay, so the question is how far can we deliver a coach? So the coach that I'm delivering uh, this week is going to have a Sioux. Um, the coach that I'm delivering next is going to Vegas. I've got some customers I'm talking to right now that are in New Hampshire. Uh, we don't really have a limit. I know Teresa Crawley is delivering an Essex to Florida. They're uh, literally leaving uh, for Florida tomorrow. Um, so the coach has been plugged in with a block heater on uh, over the weekend, keeping it nice and toasty. And uh, yeah, so you can, we can deliver a coach pretty much anywhere in the continental United States. Uh, I don't think that we would be interested in going to Alaska unless you paid us a whole lot of money. Um, but anywhere in the continental United States, we'd be happy to, to send a coach to you. Uh, it does require a sales associate is present for that delivery. So it's not just the shipping charge. It's also going to be having someone there to make sure that you have a first class experience. But we are more than happy to come out. I was in Fresno uh, last month. Uh, delivering a superstar and I would love to have an opportunity to you know visit you and deliver a coach to wherever you happen to live I get a kick out of going to all these different parts of the country uh, we usually just stay overnight and leave the next morning uh, but we provide a very first class experience with a remote delivery and you can come in here and hang out with Wade for four hours and really learn how everything works and then head home and we can deliver it then or you can do uh, what I did with uh, with uh, Lindsay we actually drove the coach out to her, got it to her house. I flew out and then we did a video delivery via FaceTime, which is nice because you can just re record that FaceTime call with Wade, our delivery technologist, and then you have all of the information and everything that you covered during that walkthrough on your own device. So uh, we can deliver anything to you anywhere in the continental United States. Um, so yeah, let me know if, if you're up for it. Um, I think that that's a great segue into it. I, this is a lot of video for only half a job. Uh, my name is Katie. Uh, you can find me here at Trans West. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, I am trying to bring it up a level in 2024. Let me know what questions you have. Please like and subscribe and make comments on my videos. Uh, positive or negative, I'll take the feedback. Like I said, all of these little yellow stars came from someone who said, pre-measure, Katie, save yourself some time. And I took it to heart and I'm gonna do it from this point forward. Uh, this is stock number 5N230317. Again, 5N230317. I would love to help you get this Explorer into your driveway and get you out on the road camping. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, thanks for joining us every Monday at 10.30. And, you know, every five days a week with everybody who makes videos here at TransWest, I'll be on again tomorrow uh, with a superstar video as kind of a makeup for being gone for so long. And I owe a few people some answers to some questions. Uh, but, yeah, tune in every day and learn all about RVs. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks for letting us help you get out on the road and camping.